I'm presenting with my colleague on kind of a needs assessment that we did last year. We did that needs assessment because we were finding that we're growing as a university. We've got lots of new students coming from lots of areas, not just right in Wilmington, but we have several students a couple hours away, um, four to five hours away. And so we wanted to be able to give the students the access they need to us and then also give us um, you know, the ability to be able to communicate with them using technology if it was possible. We're allowing the students to have a little bit more freedom on the time and so they schedule a visit that's the best time for that office and also the best time for their learning. Um, also, we're working with the preceptor so the best time for the preceptor to be able to schedule that time. Typically, it's usually in a break time when the office is a, you know, in that downtime. And <clears throat> We get online with a platform like WebEx, which is a virtual platform. We can do video conferencing or um, teleconferencing. And we can also pull up student evaluations. We can share our computer screen. We can talk to the student and we're like, well, um, stand up. Let me see what you're wearing today. Are you wearing professional clothing? Do you have your name tag on? What do you have today? What are you prepared with? Do you have your stethoscope? Do you have your otoscope, ophthalmoscope? You know, what kind of resources do you have with you? We can do all of that virtually. They can show us. If we hadn't done those virtual site visits, the faculty teaching pediatrics, because that's what we teach in this piloted program, would have traveled over 5,800 miles um, in about 60 hours of travel. Okay, the cost in gas would be upwards of about $2,000 that the university would have to reimburse. Not to mention the cost of just sending a faculty away. and. It's not, and when I say cost, I don't mean sending them away because of gas or because of travel or because of staying somewhere overnight. What I mean is the more I'm away from my desk, the more I'm away from my email, and the more I'm away from my course, the less access my students have to me. One of the other things that we implemented in this course, and that was with the help of the Office of eLearning and some of the other faculty who had some really great innovative ideas, one thing really important uh, for nurse practitioner students is to learn how to document. Okay, so whenever you go to the doctor or whenever I go to the doctor, whatever happens in that period, your practitioner documents everything that happens. They document what you tell them, they document what they see in their exam, they document their diagnoses. So we implemented a little virtual game for the students with 34 questions on different types of documentation because they have to know the difference between a pa what a patient tells you, what they see in their physical exam, what the patient comes in for complaining about, all of that is different um, system in their notes. So we implemented uh, a little quiz, a drag and drop via technology and a really cool game system inside the course with pictures and it was, it was fun for them. And they had to take it um, as many times as it took to get 100% so we knew that they knew how to document when they got into their clinical sites that first week. But we got lots of good feedback about it, you know, so and again, all of that was implemented virtually through technology uh, because we had just a very last minute problem with the weather.